With the full release of Fortnite Creative 2.0 to Eren Jaeger's Mythic Weapon in-game, we have some of the best Creative 2.0 maps you will love to enjoy, starting with number one, which is the Atlas OG Battle Royale, where you guys can play the original Chapter 1 map again, and the code you want to put in is 21797822 and I can tell you now, it's actually a ton of fun. It's pretty glitchy at the moment, they are still rolling out updates for it, so if you don't get into a game, just leave the game and start again, and you should eventually get put into a game, and it's actually actually a ton of fun. We then have Color Switch, which is by far one of the funnest maps yet. The code you want to put in is 141573210392. And once loading in, you will spawn into a waiting room overseeing a game being played. And you guys can also buy rounds and items. And once in game, you'll be given a color on screen that you need to stand on the color so you don't fall and be eliminated. I'm pretty addicted to this one, I can't lie. We're going to be seeing so many more creative 2.0 maps released within the near future, but we still have have more maps to show you guys in today's video but before we get into them the enlighter styles will be releasing next week a locker well at levels 160 170 180 190 and 200 with three different stages and there is a slight chance we could be getting the original gold styles which i think look amazing on some of the battle pass skins because in the past we've usually got a gold stage for each one in lighter style and the battle pass skins that we're going to be getting this season for the lighter styles are the rento the destroyer which you guys can see here the gold version on this skin looked amazing thunder which is one of my favorite battle pass skins and it looks insane with this gold style mystica probably the best battle pass skin in this season i can't lie it looks insane in this enlightened style we then have stray which looks even cooler and mizuki the tier 100 skin which i love i love original battle pass skins as tier 100 skins so this golden lighter style on this skin it looks absolutely amazing there is a very small chance we could be getting a super mario collab this season but before we get into that remember but I do give five subscribers every single day and I will be gifting the brand new season two battle pass to five of you guys today So make sure you guys do drop a like on the video Subscribe with all notifications turned on and leave a comment with your epic ID name down in the comment section below So I can add you guys and a huge thank you to everyone popping in my support credit code when picking up this battle pass It does mean an absolute term with his new movie releasing on April the 5th in just two weeks time And the clickbait could finally become real with Mario in Fortnite and some other amazing cosmetics with some new myth abilities just like in mario maybe the fireball mythic which lets mario and luigi throw fireballs a penguin suit which actually allows them to slide on the floor and turn things into ice or maybe even a rock boulder mushroom that allows you to turn into a boulder and roll over obstacles kind of like the inflatable item we got back in season seven we're just gonna have to wait and see if nintendo like to add their stuff in fortnite but these new mythic abilities could actually be coming to the game a new weapon will be releasing very very soon called the smart pistol seen in the battle pass trailer and this will be releasing possibly in the first update and actually locks onto enemies when your crosshairs are looking at them in 0.4 seconds which sounds pretty op this pistol is definitely going to be one of the most op weapons to come out this season for our next creative 2.0 map though is called reclamation which is made by team alliance and the map code you want to put in is 11350371 you guys can pick between five classes which each class have their own specific load out, and then you need to compete in a 5v5 hard point with the first team to reach 150 points wins the game it kind of reminds me of halo i think is one of the best creative maps they've ever released because you literally come down in a space shuttle which is absolutely insane let me know in the comment section below if you guys have actually played in any of these creative 2.0 maps because this one is actually super super fun another new weapon coming out this season is the mythic odm gear for erin jaeger we saw this in the gameplay trailer for this season and it's just like the spider-man web shooters it will actually be a new grapple item where you get where you get a limited amount of grapples hopefully it's around 80 like the spider-man mythics but you guys can now eliminate players with its swords to actually lock onto enemies as well which does seem pretty op and we're also going to be seeing some new attack on titan cosmetics come to the item shop as well when this mythic weapon does get added to the game as this collab is absolutely massive for fortnite so be on the lookout for this because the mythic odm gear for erin jaeger should be getting introduced very very soon within the next week or so because his skin actually releases in 22 days time but talking about the skin he will actually be coming out with a page two of rewards we already know what the page one rewards are you guys can see it here you get like this emote which i actually don't understand it at all we got a pretty cool battling though the pickaxe is by far really really sick but if you guys actually do go to the skin you guys can see it says selectable styles and there's no selectable styles on here which means we're going to be getting a page two rewards and we know what the rewards are going to be starting with a loading screen because we actually haven't got a loading screen yet and every single 
single battle pass skin this season has its very own loading screen. We're also going to be seeing some sort of glider and some other random boring awards. Most likely get some 100 V-Bucks in here or something. But he will actually be getting a second style which does have a built-in emote to him. Which is actually going to be a Titan Shift emote which transforms him into a Titan style skin. Which I think looks insane. Going to be one of the sickest secret skins we're ever going to be getting. Because I know a lot of people do want a Titan style for Evan Jaeger. And it looks like he's going to be getting one in the page 2 rewards. We're going to be seeing more about these within the next few weeks. So make sure you guys do subscribe so you do not miss out on any new news. First person is confirmed for this season to come out in a mid-season update in a few weeks time. And Tim Sweeney announced last night that Fortnite are experimenting first person. And they're also working on certain skins for visibility. You guys can see here, these are the skins they're working on. Just like the normal skin, we then have Peely, the bigger Peely, Venom, because Venom's a very, very big skin. Man Cake, we then have Cluck. We then also have the Mecha Strike Commander because that skin is actually pretty big as well. So it is confirmed that first person will be coming out this season, but they are currently testing out visibility purposes. With first person though, weapon charms will be coming out as well. They've been wanting to add these for years, but there wasn't much point until now. And here is a gameplay concept of what some of the charms we could be getting. We're definitely going to be getting a V-Bucks charm, but we might also be getting an Arena charm as well. Depending on what rank you finish on in the season, you now get a wrap, but on Apex Legends, you can actually get a ranked charm. So we might be seeing a ranked charm each season, as well as a weapon wrap, which I think would be really, really cool. Depending on what division or what rank you actually do finish the season on, is what your charm will look like, which I think will be really, really cool. Wall running is being tested for this season as well. A new movement mechanic, which will look similar to this, and will actually be pretty crazy in build fights. It's going to change the game forever but the way you actually do wall run is you want to sprint and jump next to a wall and you'll stick to it until your stamina runs out and then eventually you'll fall off regain your stamina and you guys can do it again you will run the exact same speed though so you won't be getting any advantage that way but it's going to be a pretty cool movement mechanic coming to the game but a new storm update will be getting added this season which is nuts it will split the zone into two zones after zone three or four just like warzone does and it will move faster and deal more damage there are talks about it being an L TM though, but I hope it's a permanent change because this sounds insane. Imagine you're the last two teams in two different zones waiting to battle it out. But don't forget, we should be seeing Miles Morales come to the game very soon as well as his new movie is up and coming and a confirmed collab is scheduled for Fortnite with this skin. And with his movie releasing on June the 2nd, with the season ending on June the 2nd as well, Fortnite usually add collab skins a few days before the movie releases, so expect this skin to come out later this season, which I think would be absolutely amazing. A new Star Wars collab is in the works that will include two new male skins and new mythic force abilities. We've actually seen these previewed in the season 3 trailer with Darth Vader using the force which does look pretty cool and that will be coming out with this new collab as well which obviously does sound pretty nuts and there are rumours that these two skins are going to be Anakin Skywalker and Cal Kestis from the new Star Wars game Jedi Survivor as the new game will be releasing near the same time as this collab which could also mean we're finally going to be getting a customizable lightsaber pickaxe and you guys can make your very own lightsaber inside of the game. We're just going to have to wait and see though. But these two skins and the Mythic Force abilities are going to be pretty cool. A new big wheel grenade thing is coming out. We have no clue what it means. But Top 5 Gaming has suggested it could be a rework of the Ripsaw Launcher, but explosive. Which um, will be OP as hell, Tommy. So I hope this thing never, ever comes out. But when watching the new Season 2 trailer, you may have noticed the OG motorbikes were seen in here as well. With the Tier 100 skin riding it around in Mega City which hints towards possibly the return of the OG motorbikes coming this season which I think would be pretty cool to ride these around the city but let me know if you guys do like the creator 2.0 update I think it's absolutely insane and let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for the Eren Jaeger mythic ODM gear which we'll be releasing very very soon hope you guys did enjoy subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in my next one peace